What is up guys, Dothman for Team Superfit and today is not a vlogging video as I told you guys before, I will be making certain videos which are informative once in a while, okay? So today will not be a vlogging video, the next video will definitely be a normal vlogging video Okay, so now that is out of the way This is actually one of the most informative videos that I have ever made So I am just putting it out there, this is one of the most informative videos So definitely do watch this video completely Now this video is about how to build a wide back okay now we are going to be talking about lats how to build your lats effectively how to you know get huge lats and that is what we are going to be talking about in this video so this video is actually inspired by a video that Suni Sebastian made on his channel long time back it is called as the muzzle masterclass you guys need to watch that video and he has also several other uh, muzzle masterclass videos right so check all those out they are very informative and they will definitely help you to get your physique to the next level okay so Let's get on with this. So today we are going to be talking about the most uh, efficient way to build your lats. By the end of this video, I'll be telling you guys about a workout which is one of the most efficient workouts to build your lats, and I will also be giving you guys a reason why you need to do that workout. So to begin with, you, you first need to understand about the lats. You first need to understand about the lats as a muscle group and you know what they do and how they are structured and all these things. And I'm going to explain it to you guys in a very simple way so that all of you guys can understand. You are not going to get too much te technical into it. It is all going to be a glimpse of everything so that you get to the point, you understand what, what it is and then you in incorporate it into your workout. So let's begin. So in order, in order for you guys to understand this in a, even in a better way, you first need to understand about the lat as a muscle group, right? You first need to know where they originate from and where they get inserted into. So that is like one of the most important things. Now I have Bharat here with me. <laughs> who is going to act as a skeleton for today or the anatomy guy or whatever I don't know what they call it and this video is not at all going to be technical okay it is going to be in a manner that all of you guys can understand and it gets imprinted into your head so I'm going to ask Bharat to turn around because the back side is where your lats are located right so you don't need to, have, you don't need to do a lats fit Bharat is trying to do a lats fit anyway so you have the vertical column here and majority of your lat fibers originate from the vertebral column and they all run, run like this, okay? So they kind of run in this fashion. Okay, they kind of run in this fashion. At an angle, they don't run straight, they all run at an angle like this. And majority originate from the vertebral column. There are also some muscle fibers which originate like around here and they all go up on top. The one common thing that they all have is the insertion point. All of these muscles, they run at an angle and then they get inserted onto your bicepial group of your humerus that is right here so all these muscle fibers they kind of run and then they get inside right here so let's take a look on of this on the paper so that you guys can understand this in a better way so now we are going to be taking a different approach to you know understanding these things and that's why i have a picture right here this is going to make you guys understand what the concept is completely okay so right here we have Bharat this is the beard this is Bharat's beard so Bharat says hi guys say hi back to Bharat now, Take a look at this, okay? Now, on the next slide, we are only going to be considering Bharat's upper body, okay? Which is till here. So, we are going to neglect the lower half. We are only going to be looking at Bharat's upper body and the back side of Bharat's upper body. That is, your rear side or whatever. So, your, your rear upper body, okay? Now, this is Bharat. Bharat's face on the other side. Anyway, look at this case. Blue is equal to Bharat's lats, okay? Where is the blue here? This is the blue. So now this is how your lat muscles are inserted. And you need to understand how your lat muscles are inserted, okay? So basically, your lat muscles are inserted from your vertebral column, which is this dotted red, red color line. This is your vertebral column, right? So all your lat muscle fibers kind of originate from your uh, vertebral column and also some of them from here. And they all kind of insert into the same point, which is called as your bicepial groove, okay? Which is this place so all the muscle fibers run from here to here at an angle right there are some muscle fibers which are kind of horizontally aligned and most of them kind of run at, run at an angle so most of the muscle fibers kind of run like this at an angle right you guys can see this now keep this in mind keep the whole picture in mind and now let's move on to the next clip okay so first of all you need to understand one thing okay the function of any muscle is to bring its origin point and its insertion point closer to each other, okay? So that is mainly the function of any muscle. 
If you want to stimulate hypertrophy in a muscle, you need to perform the function of the muscle. So what you're actually achieving through an exercise is basically you're trying to uh, you know, perform the function of the muscle with added resistance. And this resistance are the weights that you add. Okay, now, we, now let's talk about lats. What are the two primary exercises that you do for your lats? One is some kind of a row and the other is some kind of a vertical pull. Correct? Now, my, my lats are going to originate from somewhere from here and then they kind of insert somewhere around here. Right? And they run at an angle like this. When you do a row, okay, what you're doing is the weight is here. Right now, when I'm, when I'm like, you know, before pulling the weight towards myself, this, this is how my question is going to be. Right now, the insertion point and the origin point, origin point are kind of apart from each other. When I pull here, when I kind of pull the weight towards myself, what I'm basically doing is I'm bringing the insertion point and the origin point close to each other, right? This is why you're going to stimulate muscle growth in your lat when you do a row. But when you do a row, there are several other muscle groups in the back that come into picture. Like your rotors, your rhomboids and your mid-traps. So all these things come into picture. So when you do a row, you are not, it is not completely to your lats. And also the load wait, or the resistance that you are putting when you are rowing is kind of at, an, at a direction like this, right? But it lacks around like this. Now, for example, this is your lat muscle fiber, okay? This is a rope or whatever. This, these are your lat muscle fibers. I don't want to confuse the case, but you need to imagine this. Now this is where they originate from. And this is where they insert. And they, run, and they run at an angle, correct? This is the angle. When you row, the load is set up, the, the load is like this. So you're basically having a load like this, right? The load is around here. This is what you do when you do a row. The second thing is you do a vertical pull, correct? So what do you do when you do a vertical pull? You kind of pull the weight from top to bottom, right? But in this case, you will target most of your lats. You're going to be targeting a majority of your lats but not in the most efficient way. I'll, I'll tell you guys why. Now here's the thing, again, okay. your lats are running from here to here at an angle like this. Now the weight is like, the load or whatever is acting at this direction, right? So now you're going to have a load of the muscle fiber somewhere like this, correct? And when you pull, it is somewhere like this, okay? Hope I'm clear. Now here's the thing, the most efficient way to, you know, load a muscle or whatever is along the line of the muscle fiber, right? So now here is where the question comes. When I do a rowing movement, it is not only my lats. It is like my complete back that comes into picture. But again, I am not loading my lats in the most efficient way. Correct? I am not adding resistance to my lat muscle fibers in the most efficient way. So it is not the best exercise to kind of build your lats, right? It is, it's, a, it's a complete whole picture. Now I am not saying rows are not useful. Second thing is when you do a vertical pull, again, you are somewhat, you know, you are primarily targeting your lats, but again, it is not it is not the most efficient way to target your lats, even though it might be a better way than your rows. You guys need point. So what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to find out an exercise that is going to load the, this muscle fiber along the direction of this muscle fiber, right? Which is like this. So you need a load like this. You understand? So this is where my lats start from, this is where they get inserted. So I need a load right here. So that they run from here to here along the direction. So I need a weight something, so, so I need a weight somewhere around here so that I can pull it towards my lat and bring my insertion point, I mean bring my origin and my insertion closer to each other. Correct? So this is going to be the most efficient way to isolate your lats and to build, build up your lats. So okay, I'm gonna give you guys a small recap on why we are doing this, okay? Now again, this is your origin and this is your insertion, okay? Your whole, your goal is to bring these two together, correct? To, to make sure you work your muscle fibers. So this is your goal. When you do an exercise, something like this must happen, must happen, correct? And you need to load this muscle fiber. The, the only two ways you know to load this muscle fiber so far is a load from this direction. So yeah, so, some, something is being, pulling this muscle fiber from this direction and you are bringing these two closer to each other. Or the other thing is a vertical pull which is in this direction. So you have a resistance in this direction and you are pulling these two together. But the most efficient way is going to be to create a load along the direction of the muscle fiber. Muscle fiber, right? 
so that it is going to be harder for you to contract and expand. You guys get the point. Again, that is why this is your origin, this is going to be your insertion point, and our aim is to bring our origin and our insertion together to work the lat muscle fiber. For that, to, to isolate our lats and the reason why you want to do that is because most of the muscle fibers in your lats are aligned towards this direction, correct? So what we want is we want an exercise which will create a load or resistance on this direction which is along the direction of most of your lat muscle fibers so that you can pull the load and bring your origin and your insertion point closer to each other. Whew. For this we have an exercise called as pull-ins, okay? It is called as pull-ins and again this video is inspired by a video which Sunit Sebastian made and you know that it is a, it, he has ex explanations like these for all the muscle groups. It is called as the muscle masterclass. You guys need to check it out. I'll put the link down in the description box. Take a look at it. But anyway, this exercise is called as pull-ins. So what you do is you have a cable station, right? So you need to Make sure you put the cable station and you need to put, put the uh, pulley on top, load the weight, sit down and do a pull-in. I'll be putting a clip of a pull-in, take a look at that. It will either be somewhere on the side of the video or go on top of the video, so take a look at that. So these are called as pull-ins. Now again guys, I'm not asking you guys to stop doing rows. You need rows because you need the complete back development. And rows are one of the best exercises for your back and again, you need those vertical pulls. Everything is important. But if you guys are lagging on your lats, if you guys think that you don't have good lats, this is this this has to be a go-to exercise to add in. Okay, so this will be a great exercise to add into your workout to make sure that you have big lats and you kind of isolate your lats even further. That is the point of this video. I'm not saying rows are bad, vertical pulls are bad. I'm not saying any of that. But all I'm saying is I'm asking you guys to add this kind of work uh, exercise into your workout routine. So that's it. Hope you guys have the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks a lot for thanks a lot for watching. And also I'll be back on my vlogs from the next video. So that is that. And I'll see you guys on the next video.